the, you weren't getting the playing time initially mm-hmm. that you ended up getting. What was that period like for you? Um, those first couple of years with, with Earl, and what did it do? What did it do for your game? Everything. I credit the Earl, you know, to a lot. You know, he was one of the early ones in the NBA industry to believe in me um, to that extent. And you know, I think it started with him being my player development. You know, before he was the head coach. You know, so he watched the work that he put in with me. He was on the court with me, sweating with me, putting in the work with me. And, you know, it just coincidentally happened that he ended up being the head coach, but he threw me in the fire. You know, he gave me the chance to to go out there and make mistakes and play through mistakes, which, you know, a lot of young players don't get the chance to do that in this league. So I credit I credit him for a lot, man. I'm, I'm just thinking back all the times that we're out on the court together and we're playing real ones. You know, I wasn't getting any playing time at the time, so we were getting after each other. And then the next year, he's my head coach. So it was a it was a quick turnaround, but you know that man believed in me to the fullest. Well, Devin Booker dropping 30 points in the finals and showing some love to you. What yes. does that mean to you on the biggest stage for him to acknowledge that? Well, we visualize this moment in every workout because you know you have to give players hope. If players don't have hope from a coaching staff or from a coach, they kind of die in their skill and their ambition. And I'm just so happy. He's such a – he's a great basketball player, but he's a better person. So one of the things he talked about is you guys playing one-on-one and teaching him his spots on the floor. So when you saw in game two him going on spots, take us through that. Devin Booker right now, we, certain spots we masters, and these spots are lit up. D. Book, I'm sorry I'm giving away our, our strategy, but this is it. He's going to get to those spots every time. And the great thing about getting to your spots when you do it over and over, we have so many ways and we develop so many counters to get there. How many times can you get there? We call these activation zones. Activation zone is that elbow because that weak side defense have to rotate if you get it there. So he's going to constantly hit his spots, different ways to get there, different shots from those spots. And the game is sometimes behind you, Coach Mitchell. It's not always at the rim. Side step, right hand should be left hand unless you jump past that right shoulder. It gives him the window because Lopez doesn't contest with the left. We call that drill work, Chris. You're just there like a coach just putting the hand in the face. And D-Book can do that all day. But he has a patience to his game, and he has a maturity to his personality and his character that allows him to be great. And he loves to work. He will call me at 9 at night, 10 at night, just to go to the gym and work out. I will always meet him. And somehow he had the key to ASU practice <laughs> facility. All of us break on the entering, but we ended up inside of there. And we just worked all night and visualized planning these moments. It's not B and E if you have the key. Now we do have X marks the spot all over the floor. So take us to some of those spots that you showed book. Sam, look at these different areas. Uh, Earl, why are these so effective on the floor? Well, you know, Coach Mitchell can tell you this. When you play in the league and you have great coaches, you kind of still and you develop. Hubie Brown created these spots. He created the corner. He created the wing, the wing, the wing, and the elbows in the midpoint. I put in the, the X with the slide. I put in the X's at the elbows and the midpoint. But these were the only places we could shoot at for UB Brown. And our offense was ran only for these spots, even counters. So as the game developed and me being younger, how can you get there off the bounce? Because maybe it should be pinned down. Coach Mitch would be right here. Old NBA, Boom. you come down, you pin down. Come I hit him and I slide away to the other side. We used to do that. We don't do that anymore, right? We do pick and roll basketball. So D-Book pick and roll basketball, high screen and roll. He can come here, as you've seen it in tape, and he pulls up. But if they take that away, he can attack. And when he attacks right here, what does he do? Step back, sometimes go, pull up right here, and he has his fade. Anything in the paint goes. You have anything in the paint for floater, layup, dunk, driving kicks, up and under. This is all free. But these spots is what you hit. And a couple of times we'll see the book. I think he's excellent at the elbows. I think he's superb at the post and the mid post and this X on the midpoint. And he's always going to hit. What do we see? The book come this way. If he goes right, he's going to come back left. You can snake it with the screen and roll. And then you can attack. And he's great finishing with the left. And CP is opposite, coach. CP, everyone wants to send CP left. He's going to get back to his right. So you might as well just send him right so your weak side don't have to shift on exactly. that baseline, right? Because you set a scene, Chris. Set a screen for me. CP's going to come this way. Teams are going to send him left. And he's going to snake it. And you're going to roll to the rim. And now that whole defense is shifting, right? Just send him to the side he's going to get to anyway so they can keep that weak side defense stable in the paint. And that is what Devin Booker has developed. Even if you see him get on the perimeter, he's going to back you up. He's going to hit. 
and then he's going to hit a spot and he's going to attack again. He's phenomenal at seeing layers of basketball. You know, I want to end this segment with X mark in the spot. Sam, you haven't shot a ball in two years, but you approach. Show him how it's done, baby. Show him how Coach scored you 77 would, over in France. Oh, oh man, yeah. Dave. Went like a book. Hey, we can trust Sam Mitchell in the clutch. Thanks for breaking that down on Devin Booker.